श्रीमती कानीमोली जी थैंक यू सम आई वुड हैव बीन वेरी हैप्पी टू सपोर्ट दिस बिल बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली दिस वुड हैव बीन वन बिल विच द गवर्नमेंट हैज ब्रॉट एंड वी कुड हैव सपोर्टेड एंटायरली बट देन दे मेड श्योर दैट देर इज समथिंग दैट वी के नॉट एक्सेप्ट एंड द मिनिस्टर इज अ वेरी एरोडाइट लॉयर एंड i hope he can explain a few things to us he says that this bill does not mention the anglo indian community but is there it, uh, it is there in the statement of objective and reasons and also in the annexure if it is not included in the main bill also then i would like to know why he is not saying that the mm, the reservation for the anglo indian community will also be extended like you are say ex explicitly saying that it will be extended for the scs and xcs which we welcome why are you not saying that it will be extended for the anglo indian community and we all know that the anglo indian community is shrinking but of course i think uh, the numbers the minister is giving us is highly exaggerated because i i am sure personally among us we would know around in anglo indians um, around in tamil nadu it is more than 50000 anglo indians who live in tamil nadu and definitely there are around uh, like uh, the member hybi eden uh, mentioned there are more than 3 lakh anglo indians in this country and their contribution to this nation in sports in government in the railways in arts it is something which we cannot forget and just because they cannot elect a member with 3 lakhs they will not be able to elect a member of their own and they spread out all over geographically so i think it is fair to give them a representation and i would also like to ask the minister they are taking away mlas from state assemblies 13 state assemblies have mlas who are belong to the anglo indian community and five from the south the south indian states have one each uh, did you discuss with the state government no have you have they accepted no no again and again this government is interfering in the federal rights and is taking away federal the state rights in every yes. single bill yes. 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 the state rights are being taken away by this government and just because you have a majority it does not mean that you have to hurt the minorities Always. yesterday you Always. brought a bill which will hurt the muslims and today you are bringing the a bill which is going to hurt the christians so i think majority is not the only thing which should be running this country i think more than that it is the humanness and the inclusiveness which is the most important in democracy sir when it comes to the sc and sc reservation we completely support that we welcome that and our intellectual revolutionary from tamil nadu periyar said all women and women men should live with dignity have we achieved that dignity 70 years of reservation political reservation and where are we still we will wall to keep the dalits away even today we cannot share a crematorium with them even the ashes can mingle with each other we can't share water wells tanks we can't uh, share living spaces with the dalits dalits can't come walk our streets is this what we have achieved after 70 years and aren't we all ashamed to say this in this august house i think we have to hang our head in shame because how many dalit girls are insulted raped and do we raise our voices do we talk about that do we discuss that in some ways we've come to accept it even the media doesn't report it 
It is only what happens in the cities which are reported. We just ignore what happens to the Dalits in this country and the scheduled tribes. I mean, I think it is so bad that we don't even think of them and we don't even understand they exist in this country. Sir, we, uh, as proudly many people here have said that 15 per in this parliament we have 15% SC members and 8.6% SC members in this parliament. And, but this reservation has been given based on the 2001 census. And based on the 2011 census, I think it is high time we increase that. We cannot just keep numbers which are long gone and decide reservations on that. And when we're talking about reservations, I also like to remind the Minister about the Women's Reservation Bill, which doesn't seem to be happening at all. Women are, whichever caste they come from, they are the Dalits of this country. And 10 central government departments, which employs more than 90% of the people, around 8,223 posts for SCs has not been filled. And for SCs, 6,955 posts have not been filled. Is this the way we are going to make the wrongs into right? Even the government, the central government, does not want to fill the posts which have to be rightfully filled by the SCs and SCs. And this information was given by Honourable Minister Jitendra Singh in the floor of the Parliament. And sir, when we talk about people not being able to live in the same vicinity, not being able to walk in the same street, I'd like to proudly talk about Tamil Nadu. When the DMK government was in power, we built the Samatuapuram. It is a complex of houses where our leader, Dr. Kalengar, when he was the chief minister, he brought in people from different communities, from the upper caste to the uh, OBCs to the Dalits and, and STs, and everybody lived together in the same complex. And I think it was a giant step, giant leap for humanity uh, to include and do away with the caste systems. Sir, I, I also would like to talk about the scholarship benefits given to students. When we talk about empowering the SCs and the STs, I think education plays a vital role in that. This government has done away with scholarship benefits to SC, ST students who get into colleges through the management quota. It hurts these students to a very large extent. And the central government is yet to release grants pertaining to around 384 crores to the SC students of Tamil Nadu. Is this the way you are going to reach out the, to the scheduled caste of this country? by not even giving them the grants which you should be giving them. And according to one survey con conducted by the IMM Bangalore, out of the 642 faculty members across 13 IIMs, four were from the SC community and one from the SC category. Same thing when it comes to the IIT Madras. In the last 10 years, out of 3,848 PhD admissions, only 234 were from the SC and SC community. <laughs> Sir, isn't this intellectual untouchability? Is this not, is this not what Rohit Venmula meant, meant when he said, when equality is denied, everything is denied? Sir, this arrogance, intellectual arrogance, will not take this country anywhere. I think we have to work on helping them in an inclusive and wholesome way just 
bringing in reservations and continuing that we welcome it, that is not going to help. I think you have to empower them in all possible ways and treat them with dignity and respect and stop playing religious and communal politics. Thank you. Thank you.